Hello and welcome to our first tutorial from Boy Studios. My name is Olabi Akko, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a roof corrugation using maps, just right from the material editor. Okay, um, first we're going to take a look at our roof. Right here, we have a simple roof here, which we're going to apply our material. Let's take a look, a simple look at our roof here. It's going to be having corrugation in two directions, which are going to be perpendicular to each other. So it's a very simple roof, and here we're now going to take a look at our material that we're going to be applying to that because we're going to be having two corrugations in two different directions, which one goes in the x direction and the other goes in the y direction that is considering our viewport direction okay viewport coordinates and right now let's take a look at our material our material I've created a simple material with multi and sub object and which I've divided into three different IDs why have I made these three different IDs? Basically because we have two corrugations then and the other one is going to be for the ridge covering which is the capping for the roof which is um, the roof ridge, the roof hip and the roof valley. So that is going to take up the ID2 right now we have not created that and we'll be doing that in a moment and so let's still go ahead and take a look into what we have in our materials and how it is set up okay we'll take a look into one of the materials that make up the roof roof ridge and um, the roof um, corrugation okay and which is the same thing as the other one right here but it's only rotated at an angle of 90 because they're going to be perpendicular to each other in two different directions okay now um, we have a di um, diffuse color ma material here and which is going to be this roof map which is a very good map basically for most of the roofs we use and the same thing we have in um, the roof displacement but now it's uh, a grayscale image which is going to define how the corrugation is going to be displaced in our render which is the white area makes up the displaced area which is going to come up as the corrugation so um, I think that is good enough okay right here we have a displacement unit and I've made it three because you don't want to make it too high and that goes way too high and it goes off proportion when you do your render and in this it's going to be applied in render not in the viewport because it's not a modifier we are adding to it it's a displacement map and we'll be showing you more or other uh, methods to work on this and but for now this is what we'll be doing and this is what we're going to be working with all right let's take a look at our um our roof object and how we can set it up to accept our material so the material id goes into the right place the the id3 goes into the right place the id1 goes in the right place then when we set up what is going to be our covering for the ridge, heap and the valley it goes in the right place okay right now we'll take a look at our roof object and set it up to have the different IDs we want them we want the material to be applied to right now we have a um, uh, roof setup by default 3ds max keeps material IDs IDs for each for every of the polygon as one which is the same pro providing you've not done any material setup for it at all if you've done various different material setup for it it might have changed it one way or the other to just adjust to all those materials but right now it's going to be on one so we already have one 
in our material editor which is one of the roof corrugations all we need to do is just set it up for the third one the third material id the material id with three so i'm going to pick this um corrugations in the x direction in the x direction as you can see it goes in the x direction so i'm going to set that as a material id of three so what it now picks when we apply this material wholly to this um to this roof it's going to pick three for the one in the x direction then one for the one in the y direction then and one other thing we are going to set up is the covering the the, the capping for the ridge hip and the valley and uh, which we're going to create right now from our edge we're going to set the edge the the hip the ridge the hip then the valley so um, we're from there we're going to create a shape which we're going to apply a sweep modifier let's create a shape and we say we want linear type because if we choose a smooth um, one let's just see what happens it's going to try to smooth out all the corners and we don't want that obviously so what we need is we want to create a linear then it takes it creates everything with sharp angles corners just like we want it on our on our roof and we now exit this sub object level and we pick that shape which is now an editable spline and we apply a strip modifier to it I provided you're using uh, 3ds max um, uh, from version 9 I guess it's, you should find this I think in version 8 and on upwards you should find this modifier I guess okay then we change this to a cylindrical um, section which will now give us a circular kind of um, capping at least that simulates the type of capping we need to apply to our roof then we're going to we could convert this to an editable poly and we could as well just add a modifier over it, which is the edit poly modifier and for that we will now set this mat object by default if we take a look at this it's going to be um, it's going to have multiple IDs because it's created from this thing but now what we just need to do is convert that to an ID of 2 because that is what we're going to take we're going to convert that to an ID of 2 because we need it to be applied to this particular material so we set this on an ID of 2 after selecting the whole polygon as you've seen then since that is done whatever we apply to this right now is going to take up this material ID let's just take a look at that even if you take the whole thing like that and apply it you would see that by default it picks the material ID 2 then we come here to and apply this same material again and to the roof itself then we see that well right now we don't have a good mapping coordinate from our object and so what we'll do is we'll have to set its own coordinates for it uh, by using UVW map then by you can see we have it set already but we have a scale that is a little bit off and to adjust our scale I suggest we just bring in a box and say what I basically do is I turn this to 1000 1000 1000 so uh, our scaling is quite tiny right now so um, we're going to uh, do the adjustment here I'm doing my scaling from here which adjusts the tiling and I think I'm good with this which is looking good and looking not looking too oversized or small so right now we can do our test render because we've already set everything and we can do a test render and see what this looks like okay that's our final render here and you can see a very good corrugation here created from our displacement map in 
the material editor and you can see everything looks good and even if you have your angles changed and you'd equally see that displacement and it's always looking very good we can also have this material color come in different colors uh, which I've done um, adjusted hue and saturation and changed it to blue green and the beige and of course I'll put this up for all um, your download so you can actually pick this material this particular material and work with I hope um, this tutorial comes in very useful working in marks thank you